According to a 2017 survey in Runner's World, 30% of women runners have been followed on foot, on bike, or by vehicle. Yeah, Karina Vetrano mm -hmm. comes to mind when you think about of that. Of course. So information that needs to be taken pretty seriously, especially as a uh, retrial now starting with um, Ms. Vetrano has now been set in the murder. Her murder and her was killed while she was running in Queens back in 2016. So with us this morning to kind of help us navigate through things, John Hanner Camp. He is the founder of the Run Collective, a nonprofit organization for runners who has uh, established the first Runner Safety Awareness Week happening now through Saturday. John, nice to have you on Good Day New York. Thanks for having me. I never, I mean, we hear the, the news stories about women runners who are being attacked, but I didn't realize it's really prevalent. Yeah, there's certain incidents that get pressed, but this, this is happening every day, and whether it's getting hit by a bus uh, or being followed on a run, it's just about being more aware and having some of the education and programs, that, knowing about the programs that are out there to help us be more skilled if we ever are in a situation that's uh, precarious and we don't feel safe. And the warning signs that we should look out for to make sure that we are safe, whether we're running or even just coming back from the subway or the grocery store. Right, you mentioned buses or cars. There's a lot of vehicle deaths as well yes. for, for joggers. So give us some of the tips that uh, that runners should keep in mind. Yeah, and the reason why we're having it in January because New Year's resolutions, it's dark, it's cold, everyone's mm -hmm. getting out there, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So running with groups is, is key. Okay. You know, community running the running community here in New York and worldwide is vast and, and beautiful. So tap into that. I do I do love running by myself and clearing my head and that's great for mental wellness. But finding strength in numbers is, is, is key. Running where it's uh, you know, lots of people are not just not exploring in the dark. Use that exploring which is fun to do on foot while you're running for the daytime. And then actually one thing of people that are new to running is counterintuitive. You got to need to run against traffic. So the driver or the cyclist is more likely to see you and you're more likely to see them if you can see them. Right. If you're a cyclist, like you know, Laura, you do a lot I, of yeah. cycling, mm -hmm. you need to run, you gotta be with traffic. But the runners and the walkers need to be against traffic. It's a safer way of, of practicing running and walking. Right. And that's something that the new runner might not realize. All right, okay. I know you brought some interesting little uh, gadgets for runners. Yeah, you want runners that? love gadgets, and yeah. some of them glow in the dark. But we have Road ID, which is an identification, identification okay, bracelet. Which one is this? This is over here. Right here is the and it has a uh, you know, address, phone number, loved ones. So if you're diabetic and you pass out on a run and someone finds you, they mm -hmm. call 911. They know who you are, they know who to call, and they know what, what medication. You might be on. And John, you're associated with this company, right? It, it's just a pr product that was blatant. Um, you know, it makes perfect sense for people knowing who you are. Right. We're talking about where you are, but yeah. that's knowing who you are is obviously very important. Okay, okay, what else do you have? New Balance and any other product product line will have reflective properties in their clothing, whether it's bright orange or a lot of times in the logo. In this case, New right. Balance has a reflective property where if a light hits it, it glows. And that's going to make you more safe because in the dark, early mornings and evenings, People, other runners, cyclists, and motorists are able to see you. Would you uh, recommend wearing a cap when you run? Yes, especially in the winter. Um, there's obviously uh, it's cold, so you right. definitely want to layer up. So make sure your outer layers have the reflective gear. In the winter, your nice. your first layer doesn't need to be reflective because it, it'll be under you know it was six degrees on Monday. Mm -hmm. You're not right. going to see that. Right. But your exactly. outer reflective gear is, is more important. Hats, gloves. Usually, some in the seams of the clothing will have a reflective property. And it's just going to make you more visible, which is going to make yes. you safer. Speaking of visible, what is this? Extra visible. Yeah. This is a light, and actually, it's almost like a light show. You could probably go to a rave and kind of fit in pretty easily. <laughs> but it's really this is something you don't need the the, the car light to reflect to see it. This so is blatantly. What do you do? What do this, you do with this? This is uh, yeah. You wear is, it. You wear it. It's kind of like a vest. But oh. it has, you know, I'll probably hurt oh, myself so putting put it on. Your back. You gotcha. put it on, it's very light. Uh, it, it also lights up different colors. So if you want to match, sometimes runners, you want to be really stylish. Sure. But this is Knox Gear. It's a product that. Do you have to uh, charge it? Is it yeah, it's battery, battery operated. Okay. Yeah. So, but it's just another, you know, this is a little more blatant than the reflective clothing. Yeah. Actually, this is a pretty good piece it's of equipment good. for kids, too. And for cyclists, also. Yeah, and this yeah it's, it's awesome. Not, that's why we're saying run citizen. It's just for everyone being more aware and, mm -hmm. and, and safer, and it's not just for runners. So cyclists, you should get yeah, one of these. Yeah, no, that's great. What does it retail for? Uh, it's just about twenty nine dollars, but you can mm -hmm. get cheaper ones. You can get more expensive ones mm -hmm. that are a little more. Expensive. What about music, John? When you're perfect uh, segue. So a lot of people say, "I oh, just don't run with music. It's not safe." Well, there's some people that will not exercise without music. I always joke. I started running in 1982 and had to carry a boombox to run with music. But <laughs> nowadays, you know, these things are so tiny. This is a uh, headphones. That basically don't they don't go in your ears, so when you put them on, they're resting on the outside, so you can still hear, but you're not That's you know if, some, if, if a, ta a, cap, a, a taxi cab or a cyclist or yeah. another runner or a mm -hmm. bus honks at you, you can hear it. You you can hear this, but you're also enjoying your music and getting and that motivation. 
This is a, an app. There's lots of GPS tracking devices. This is um, Strava, which is a very uh, a popular uh, cycling app, and it now is getting more mm -hmm. popular among runners. And it has tracking, GPS stats, keeps you motivated. There's different challenges. But the beacon technology is a, is a feature within the Strava app. And that, you can tell three loved ones where you are at all times. I love and they'll this. send you a text really message good. with the URL. You don't even have to have this app yourself. But you can tell your best friend, hey, I'm going for a bike ride. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where I'll be. And if, they have, if they're supposed to meet you after the run, they're waiting for you. They can see exactly where you are. And only you can dictate who gets that. It's great it's information. It's just a way of communicating Thank where you, you are. Thank you so much. Really and there's good. a website they can go to, right? The runcollective.com. We have programming all week of self-defense classes, workshops, awareness, education, We're working with city agencies. Uh, we want to make sure everyone's more aware awesome. and safer while they're out there recreating. Such good information and Thank great you. gadgets. Yes. Thank Stay you, safe. All the Stay best. Safe.